All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Dicky Dine Show. Hope you're all having a beautiful day today. I yeah. know it's dark and gloomy here in Washington, but such is the case. Gloom but and gloom, baby. hopefully, we can lift your spirits, or unlike your, the weather. Or your shirts and play with your little dummy. <laughs> or just play with your little tum tums. <laughs> Austin, what do we have uh, for today? What do you have for uh, us? I've got a list of compelling questions, like where were you the night of January 4th? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so today, we haven't done a Reddit video in a minute, and, okay. and to compliment off that, we've never done an "Am I the Asshole?" thread. Ooh, okay. So I like these. And uh, to add to a thing I've never done, I had Nicole grab these so that I didn't know what they were oh, either. So this will be so this is first time for you as well. Yeah, exactly. Because okay. yeah, it's, it's rare that we get to both be blind on these. Okay, so I had, I'm down. I had I'm her down. grab them. So hopefully. She's picked up on my comedy a little because I have no idea if these would be funnier. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're going in blind. All, All right. right. Number Let's one. Am I the asshole for being upset that the ex of the man I have been seeing still has all of her things at his house? I will try to make this short and sweet. I've been dating Alfie for three months. Alfie. <laughs> but have known for him or but have known him for years. He broke up with his ex about six months ago. But she still has all of her belongings at his house, and she basically can just ring him up, and he will leave the door unlocked for her to do whatever she pleases in his, in his home when he is not there. I am uncomfortable Wait, with this, and what? I said so. He essentially shrugged his shoulders and said there was nothing he could do about it. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there is definitely something he can do about it. I also think that if he really cared about me, that he would do something about it, considering my feelings about it. About it, He thinks I am overreacting, and it's not a big deal. Am I the asshole here? Am I overreacting? Uh, no, your boyfriend's cheating on you, I would say. Well, okay, okay, that's, yeah. First of all, all of her belongings? Right. Like, yeah, either he's cheating on so, you, or she's like a Disney villain, and yeah, will ruin his life sure. if, she, if this isn't allowed. I mean, there's there's been like years ago when I've dated people, and then we've broken up, mm -hmm. That all have a small drawer right. of like there some, are things you put together. Some, <laughs> yeah, they're like leggings, so maybe some socks, like a hat, whatever. And it's like, yeah, when you can come get this, please come get it. Right. It's not a thing where it's like you can come into my house <laughs> yeah. and do whatever you want, just whenever you want. Just let me know. And uh, yeah, she has an entire room full That's of stuff. Crazy. I also assume that the current girlfriend has messaged. Or not messaged, but have has talked to the boyfriend and been mm -hmm. like, "Hey, what's going yeah, on he, here?" She said that he shrugged it off when she brought it up. He was just like, "There's nothing I can do about There's it." There's nothing which I is, can do. Which what makes do you me, mean? which makes me think maybe she's a, the ex is like crazy and has yeah. some dirt or something on him, and exactly. so right. she's like forcing this to so, happen. Uh, if, you know, if I cause any conflict, mm -hmm. she's going to shoot me. Yeah, she's gonna kill she's, my dogs. So she's she's to, going to uh, get. She's gonna post the band chat. So listen, <laughs> Jessica, we don't have a ton of expensive stuff in the house, and she will kill me if I don't allow yeah. her to do it. So. She, yeah, she has all my band chat logs, and I just she's going to release them. The confidence to be like, what? Yeah. What are you so worried about? Right, what's wrong? It's just my I mean, ex. This is, this is totally normal, <laughs> especially recent also. Mm -hmm. Just six months. They broke up six months ago, and it, and that's also, though, enough time to figure it out. Right. To be like, all right, all your stuff, because if you're with someone for, say, like five or six years, their stuff is just all throughout your house. Mm -hmm. Takes time to kind of like gather it, put it all together, and then, ha you know, which it kind of doesn't if you just do it, but it can take time, like with busy people and busy lives. Right. But it's like six months. Yeah, it's that's like, a bit dude, ridiculous. Like, why like, is clearly your there's stuff a game still in play here? here. Like, yeah. what's going on? I would say, that? no, you're not the asshole in that situation. No. And, and Alfie is, in fact, the asshole. Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happened to me when I was younger. Like the same situation? <laughs> but it wasn't. It was a, wasn't a bunch of stuff. It was a burned CD, but it was like a tactic used to ensure. So you come back, yeah. Exactly. You ensure still got that, that CD. I can come back. Okay, so <laughs> I I also had a, an ex girlfriend that Congrats. did leave. Yeah, thank you. Um, I have dated before. I promise. Um, and she would like she left a bunch of stuff in my house for months mm -hmm. and i was always like please come get your stuff please come get your stuff please come get your stuff and what she would do is she would say all right yeah i'll come get it this week or something and then she would show up entirely unannounced 
and walk in the door Whoa. and just be like, and I would just be like, okay, sweet. Like, wasn't mentally prepared for this. Wasn't mentally prepared for this. <laughs> also, I could have shot you because like thought you were breaking like, into my a robber or something. But she would take like three things and then she would leave and then she would show up like two weeks later unannounced to get more stuff. What a freak. And she, I swear to God, she did it because she was trying to catch me hanging out with a girl, which mm. is also like, we're broken up. Right. It's not your business. Like, to do we've that. been broken up for months now. Like, <clears throat> why are you doing this to yourself? And I would say that. I would be mm. like, dude, I told, I've told you, like, Come get your stuff, and when you do, please just shoot me a text mm-hmm. and say, I'll be there in an hour. I'll be there in two hours. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Like, yeah. just give me some level of heads up. N- never did. Would just walk through my front door and just, like, I, it was the weirdest thing. She did it, mm-hmm. like, five or six times. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe it's a tactic to, like, either feel less of the bad guy because then she can, like, oh, you had a secret girl this whole time, which is, like, bullshit, obviously. But right. now she can be, she can justify in her head or use it as fodder to maybe ruin that for you. Yeah. So now your new girl's right. like, who the fuck is this Who's girl that? that just walked in yeah, exactly. and has stuff here right. so she can yeah. fuck you over? So maybe it's a little bit of that, you know? Yeah, I'm like, sure just, there's some... Just many, to cause nobody's drama. Nobody's just forget it. Like, there's clearly yeah. a reason behind shit 100%. like that. percent. And I was like, that's so messed oh, up. I'm sorry, like, you got stop a whole, doing you that. You got an empty car and you grabbed a your scarf oh yeah <laughs> motherfucker a hundred percent is the weirdest I'm putting, shit i'm gonna take all your stuff and put it on the porch <laughs> no for real you i put it 20 i, minutes I ended it. up putting it all in the garage yeah and so i was like it is in a huge pile in the garage if you're coming please grab it all because i'm so sick of having this stuff here and so she finally did and then she moved out of state but it was just like what a nightmare bro yeah, just, can like, we not it's, do just, this? it's so rude yeah it's like you just walk into someone's house like playing, what if i'm just playing walk- games with somebody's life yeah we're just walking around naked with my dick in my hand or she something goes, I it's knew like you ah, were nasty <laughs> oh god you she pervert you knew i was coming over <laughs> this is a twisted on you all right number two Am I the asshole for using electric drums at 10 p.m.? I live in an apartment building. One of the rooms in my apartment is made out of thick concrete, standard where I live. (laughs) In this room, I keep my electronic drum set. I usually head out to the gym around 9 to 10 p.m., and I use the drumming session as a warm-up, around 15 minutes. I have two rugs under my foot pedal to dole out noises. Uh, Where we live, the noise limit is... 23 p.m. Oh, okay. So, like, was that 11? 11. Uh, my neighbors start started complaining that they feel the vibrations of the drums and it interrupts their rest and mm. sleep time. Mm. And they want to make an effort to drum sooner in the day, which doesn't coincide with my schedule of the gym. Am I the asshole for drumming around 9 to 10 p.m., even though it is totally legal for me to do so? Kind mm. of? Yeah, that's like a one where it's like, yeah, I, I always hate this argument of not, like, not what I did really? is legal. Because then you're like, that's the Onision argument. It's yeah, like, exactly. Right. Is, is anyone saying that's a nice guy because everything he did is yeah. legally sanctioned? Oh, it's legal. It's like, no yeah, one cares no, it's, if it's legal. Yeah, because um, there's a limit to like a, abusing the rules where it's like, that's more of a courtesy. So uh, the other thing I will say is like, is his schedule so tight that 15 minutes has to be done at 10 p.m.? Right, right. He doesn't have... 15 minutes anytime yeah, maybe else wake up a little the earlier. entire day i feel like there's a little bit i get what he's saying what he's saying though where he's like oh i like to play drums to warm up for the gym mm-hmm. and i work out late okay um maybe a compromise would be don't uh, don't use the double kick because i know you said there's two <laughs> just don't you, use yeah, the kick <laughs> you said you said there's two rugs but i don't think that's helping anybody because <laughs> it is loud like the, if you're underneath we, have, we had that loud. at the mansion it's where, very loud yeah. where kevin was fucking going ham on drums and I it was, was totally just about fine to say. but then he started showing dylan how to do his like heel toe trick and <sighs> for 10 minutes he was just like just flooding and so he came up it throughout and was the like hey house. like i don't want to be rude or anything but it was fine until the double bass started yeah. and then it was like shaking everything yeah. so maybe, um, maybe that's like the biggest the, thing the only other thing i would Just, say is a, as a compromise would be try to find another way to elevate the drum set on something so it's not directly on the floor mm-hmm. maybe like that separation yeah or maybe or maybe kind what, of stop that like shaking what time do you you get up for work you know maybe just get up 
30 minutes I earlier. Think, I think the thing is he's, too early. he likes doing it before oh, the, the gym warm up. For, right, to yeah. warm up. So it's like, okay, I, I that's yeah. fair. I, don't I guess it just sucks because there, there's many compromises the drummer could make that the other people can't really. Yeah. Cause it's like, you're loud at this time and I want that to stop. Could you move, <laughs> could you move the drum set to a different area? Oh yeah. There you go. Not... Alternate neighbors. So they're annoyed <laughs> separately. <laughs> there we go. You do it over for a week. So they're just annoyed and they don't complain. And then you switch and they're like, Oh, it stopped. And then you just, you just play this precipice game. <laughs> Dude, when I used to live in uh, in the townhomes, oh god, in like a three story townhome, there was people on the left and the right, and there were times where I was a little bit loud, but most of the time not at all, and it was never late, late. But there was always one person on my left that would just bang on your all wall. the time, and they, I think they did, they did like seven noise complaints, and I'm talking like sitting in my living room with my laptop listening to a song on the laptop speakers and, they're like, and they would the just be like i'm like how can you even hear this like how <laughs> cup to the wall yeah. waiting too like, loud too loud stop playing trapped play something better <laughs> and it was like so so like for me when i was recording like the eps like the light and the dark eps i had to go down into the garage oh in because it was like it was fully concrete and it was on the bottom floor, and I would go into the garage, close the door, and I would go into my car in the garage, close the car doors, and I would do vocals in my car. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, and, all the pounding of the, yeah, the right. car door. There would be times where I'd be like, could, do you think they could still hear this? Cause like when you're like singing, you're like, yeah, you know, it's right. like really loud. It's like, like how loud but I'm I? in my car, I'm in the garage, I don't think so, but. I don't know. There's there's usually a way to like find figure a balance that yeah. out. But sometimes mm-hmm. you just have a neighbor that's really sensitive to sound. Right. Which is also like mm-hmm. if you're if you if you can afford it and you're that sensitive to sound, maybe don't live below mm-hmm. someone in an apartment. But again, if that's all well, you can to, do, you don't then... get to choose all the time either. Exactly. What I mean, yeah. yeah, it's like, if but that's I, yeah, all you I guess got. I would just just establish like a an open dialogue with these people and just yeah. see if there's a balance or something. Right. Because like, hey, can I drum at nine for fifteen minutes and do it every other day or so? You know, something. Yeah, but, something. Uh, but I like to share your neighbor's harassment. I like that treatment. <laughs> it is drums in a shared living space is never going to be an easy thing. Right. There's always yeah. going to be. They're so loud. And even if it's not a real set. You know what they should do? They should have apartments that are like high noise mm. capacity apartments. And so, so just like really yeah, thick Yeah, people walls. that are prone to do things in their apartments that are kind of loud. Yeah. Or like that way they can all share like a noisy space together. And That's where all the murders would happen. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Everyone would just buy like There's rent There's one guy in the center floor and yeah. everyone's screaming loud and he's just like, finally. <laughs> The perfect cover. The perfect place. <laughs> I shall now murder people. All right. Next one we got. Am I the asshole for splitting a referral bonus with my friend instead of my girlfriend? Uh, my 24-year-old male GF. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> my 24 oh, male wait, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, the friend is 24 male. Mm-hmm. The GF is 22 female. I was like, why are you telling us? You're, okay. Found me a job online while I was looking for a job. I applied. They hired me. Mind you that she just sent me the job and I applied by myself. Uh, Fast forward a few months ago and my friend is also looking for a job at the company I work for and they're hiring. I referred my friend and they hired him. And after six months, so two months from now, they'll give me a 10K referral bonus. Wow. I, that's a crazy that's referral bonus. I've never referral heard of it. It's like usually a couple hundred Are you bucks. sure that's real? Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> Are you going to actually get this? I told my friend that we'd split it 50-50, but now my GF says I should split it with her since she found me the job in the first place. I've always thought that referral bonuses are usually split between the two employees. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, well, that's a weird thing too, because if she's your girlfriend, you guys should be like sharing the 5k as a unit and not worried about the other part for your buddy. (laughs) This is why it's so weird to like start sharing money with someone you're dating. Yeah, if it's too early. It can get so strange Mm -hmm. in that like, so the girlfriend got the boyfriend the job well he she sent him a link she sent him and he a did link. all the work well i mean like, like, that's kind of that's not really you, you didn't, didn't get, get him, him the, the job you sent him a you job him a ad. Link. yeah and like but, yeah if i started working if you sent me a job ad for subway and i became the manager so do i owe you royalties forever I think now <laughs> if the if the guy said like hey uh to his buddy mm-hmm. if he's like hey um you know get the work here or whatever 
And then, because if you do, I'll get a referral bonus and I'll split it with you. And then if the guy was like, for sure, and then he did it, Mm -hmm. then you got to give it to the guy. Right, you can't go back on that. You can't go back on that. Um, Yeah, just split your 5K with your girl and it should be the fine of it. But if she's- It's also your money. Like, why is she she taking your money because she sent you a fucking invite link? Yeah. Like, that's really weird. Mm -hmm. Seems like you maybe need to rethink your relationship Yeah, that's a weird one. I, yeah, I don't know about that. Give your boy the 5K and talk to your girl. Yeah, especially if you told your boy that you would do it, right. you got to. Well, can't and, go and he did the that. work. He he worked there six months, so you, you could get your little payout. Also, what 10K does she do? Pay for a referral is crazy. That's got to be wrong. That's got to be wrong. <laughs> I don't, or I mean, it's they work some at, type in, of crazy job. I don't know. Yeah, or their job is like being a Russian roulette test subject, and nobody yeah. makes it six months. <laughs> you know, that's a nuts payout. That is that is a lot. It's got to be tech, and there's probably terms to it as well. There's probably a, they got to be there for a certain amount of time. It's six months, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, I would say your girlfriend's kind of the asshole in this situation. Yeah, I, th- I think so. I agree with that. All okay. right, mo- moving on. Uh, am I the asshole for leaving my anime body pillow in the common area? <laughs> Why is this even a problem? It's so, it's... Why, are you, why not just take it? You just like taking naps with it in the common area? Yeah, like, like how, so you leave it there? Is it not a body pillow? Use it in your room. Why is it in the... She was watching Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to see this one. I just got a body pillow of Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, I <laughs> usually That's have, a fucked up thing. Too, I, I played that game, actually. I usually have it out in the common area of my dorm. Why? The common area is shared by four people, including me, so I can snuggle while I play video games. Yes, I am very lonely. <laughs> I go to get dinner, and while I am in the, the meal hall, one of my roommates and his dad come into the room. His dad is helping him move stuff in. According to my roommate, his father immediately assumes it is his stuff. Uh, he's had problems with anime pillows before. <laughs> what? And he immediately leaves. <laughs> Along with the remaining half Wait. of his stuff, that Wait. he had yet to move in. Wait, he has problems. What do you mean? No, the other guy. The other, so his friend, the guy with the pillow, his roommate came in with his dad to help him move stuff in, and apparently that guy has had problems with pillows in the past. And his dad saw it and was like, "Not again, Scott," <laughs> and just left. Just went home with all of his stuff. St- he still had his moving stuff. What kind of problem could you possibly have that is that bad that you just leave because you see a pillow? And then the, the last crazy. The last sentence is, "I said that this is not my fault, and that his dad did that, and I can put my anime body pillow wherever I want." <laughs> Yeah, so so his so the only issue here <laughs> So the only issue here is the dad. The yeah, dad the doesn't like it. Asshole. Yeah, why does the dad yeah, tell the dad to chill the fuck out? What's wrong with the dad? What is did did That's, he lose like his wife to a body pillow or something? Like I don't understand. It must have been a really bad problem for Scott. Yeah, like, like what's going on? You're doing this again. I want to talk to that guy. I no, want to be no, no. I'll be like, yo, what is what is your deal with body oh pillows, God. dude? What's that going on? So his his funny. dad his dad had to have walked in on him in the body pillow before. Oh yeah, he was oh. like, you're, you said you'd never do this again. <laughs> he's like, it's not mine, dad. It's not mine. It's As he's finishing on the body pillow, the dad walks in. And he's just like, oh my God. He goes, you don't have sukume. <laughs> I thought I raised you better. <laughs> imagine going, imagine raising your kid for fucking years, and then you walk in on him fucking jerking it onto a body pillow, oh, dry grinding oh. a body pillow of anime high school student. Uh, if I, if my, if my kid grew up to be cringe, I'd have to disown it. <laughs> my kid, dude, that'd be a good my e true Hollywood story. My kid grew up to be cringe. <laughs> How parents, there's a bunch of stories from sad parents, like, what did I go wrong? He won't stop running like Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's so funny. Uh yeah, hide your weird fetish shit and then yeah. like, his dad is the asshole, but yeah, still, for sure. like oh, come on. I mean you, you don't need to have your, it's your a, it's a pillow. Hide your like, slut. You don't need unless it. the only thing I would say is if it's like a fully nude pillow. Yeah. Then it's like, mm-hmm. okay, maybe not leave it out, but whatever. Right. It like, shouldn't be that big of a deal, but it is very funny. That, <laughs> 
this, that not only is this a problem for you, but your friend had a problem with this prior and yeah. it caused you a new. Oh my God, that's so we're awesome. Doing this again. That is so funny. That's hilarious. Yeah, so dad just drops the box of stuff, <laughs> turns around. Dad, no, it's not mine. Oh, uh, okay. Next one. Am I the asshole for tricking my sister into cutting off her hair? Uh, well, no context. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. My 17 female sister and um, wait. 17 year old female sister. But then it says 20 female has copied me. Is, so is this person the 20? You know what I'm saying? It's confusing. Me, 17 sister, but then. Oh, wait, me, or maybe they're saying I'm 17. What is it? The sister? It's it. hard to tell. My eyes are so bad. My 17 female sister, 20 female, as maybe she's now 20. I, I don't know. That's, oh, yeah, that's it's worded a little weird. confusing. Either way, their sister has copied me a lot uh, the last few years. She asks where I got clothes from and buys the exact ones. She uses the same language. She dyed her hair brown. Uh, her hair used to be blonde. Uh, which is now my color. She watches what I post about. She wears the same makeup I wear. Family and friends are confused and strangers ask if we're twins. I express several times that this makes me uncomfortable, both to her and to my parents. I don't wear clothes she has anymore, but she will just buy whatever new clothes I buy. I don't post much on social media anymore, but she still knows what I do. At the start, I was worried That's about her weird. mental health. I tried to get her to talk to me, but she claimed, oh. she claimed she's fine. My parents refused to do anything because it's harmless. So I posted on social media that I was getting a pixie cut, very oh, short no. hair. I didn't. She did. She's very angry and says that I manipulated <laughs> her into doing this. I just posted about me doing it. Didn't mention her at all. My parents are upset though I don't want to upset anyone I'm glad I look like a separate person again okay no no, no, no you no, are no, not no, the no, you're not the dude if anything how, that's hilarious and you're awesome <laughs> yeah well, exactly I was about to say first of all that is not like especially you said I tricked her like mm -hmm. I Kinda, guess I guess if you did it knowing she would do it and then she would hate it because you didn't do it, that's mean. But right. it's also like she's she's right. kind of crazy. You, you, you worded that bit. poorly. It's like saying I got a stranger arrested, but it was a guy robbing the bank. You called the cops. Like the way it's you word that makes it sound bad. Yeah. So so dude, your sister's a freak. And your sister's <laughs> just kind of doesn't have her own identity. That's got to be very validating though that's for you for her to do that because then hundred percent you have confirmed in your mind that you were right. <laughs> I mean, like I have a brother and it was nothing like that but like like he would like steal mm -hmm. my shirts sometimes but like we were into completely different things he wouldn't like research what i was doing and then do it like right. that's pretty weird that's, that's like stalkerish yeah but yeah that's like that's, that's some that's, that's gotta odd. be some sort of mental hang up of like some sort of imposter thing or something like you don't feel like you're getting enough attention at home you're like i gotta become the other daughter yeah it's very very strange your sister's weird i think yeah i, I think that's, <laughs> it's a that's weird behavior kind of funny that's, <laughs> super, yeah. that, that's super also funny. why would she get mad at him to be like you tricked me it's like <laughs> all i did was say i'm getting a haircut <laughs> yeah, and then did. you went and got a haircut what do you mean i tricked you yeah you were trying to be me before i could <laughs> yeah <laughs> fucking weird <laughs> I didn't trick anyone. You decided to do that. That's hilarious. Yeah, your sister's the asshole. You're not the asshole yeah, in that situation. She's sure. a fucking a cyclone. That's so weird. Am I the asshole for encouraging my fiance to troll his little brother? <laughs> Throw away because too many of my friends know my main account. Mm. My fiance has a brother who's seven years younger than him. LB has started going to therapy. He used a burner and then you acronymed his name. Uh, has started going to therapy fairly recently, mostly for PTSD from his military service. I wonder who this is about, <laughs> if anybody read this. Uh, a couple weeks ago, LB sent my fiance pictures from his vacation in Hawaii with his girlfriend of about six years. My fiance's response was something like, looks like a great honeymoon. Did you tell mom and dad yet? He also sent the all the single ladies video. So after they had come home, LB texted my fiance, He'd shown the messages to his therapist and she agreed with him that he's a toxic because of always telling him what to do and turning everything into a joke. So it was best if they not talk. 
Since I also like joking about serious things, I suggested that my fiance send LB the video of Britney Spears' Toxic. He also thought it was funny, so he did it. Now LB has him blocked on basically everything. Their mom called to yell at him, and I feel like it's my fault, even though my fiance doesn't blame me in the slightest. Sounds like LB's a yeah. fucking pussy, dude. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like LB stands for little bitch, little dude. Little bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, can't handle a little toxic prank pussy? Dude, that's just how siblings are. <laughs> yeah, they're rude to each other. That's a funny joke, too. Like, if, honestly, too, you wouldn't be insecure if it wasn't a little true then. Because yeah. otherwise you'd be like, oh, funny one, dude. That's my brother. He's just fucking with me. Yeah. But if you're like, what's that supposed to mean? You think my girl's right. cheating on me? Right. Or are you Stephanie? Right. Just lighten up. Just lighten up. Yeah, that's I a, mean, you got to be able to handle, like, people sh shit talking no, Also, to you, whatever. you just suggested a funny joke, and he and he did it. You, yeah. you would be the furthest removed from being the asshole in this yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. That was a funny joke. He chose to send it it's now, between them. If the the situation that would have made you the asshole is that if you would have sent the toxic video without telling your yeah fiance, that would have made you an asshole that would have made you an asshole going behind but his you back. just saying you should send him the dox and yeah. he's like oh I that's will hilarious. He'll that's hilarious no this. you're not that it's you're, if anything you created a I funnier mean, joke it's because funny because he's like, now blocked you over a Britney Spears video which yeah. is hilarious <laughs> very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little bitch for sure, dude. <laughs> Damn. Nah, he he nah, he needs a he needs a he needs to toughen up a little. Toughen up a little bit. <laughs> Am I the asshole for making fun of my friend's dreadful singing? <laughs> There needs to be more of that. Yeah, honestly, there needs to be more of that because there truth. are so many shit bands out mm -hmm. there that the comments are like so good, fucking insane, very vague uh, compliments. Like, yeah, awesome, fire sick, emoji, metal. It's, it's like what part was sick? Yeah, what, can you just time tag the cool the, part? The, the part between three fifty nine and four, where the <laughs> song is over, or it pauses for a second. There's no music and it cuts back in. <laughs> Sorry, go uh, ahead. My friend and classmate, twenty two male, is the guitarist for a campus band. They cover all sorts of music Wait. and he's really really good guitarist campus but what is that a band on campus i don't know <laughs> okay. i have no idea I've never heard of that. Uh, it's probably just like band but for college maybe okay okay I if you, i gotcha. had to put it i don't i honestly don't know uh yeah, really good guitarist right. and i can see him making a side living with music his singing on the other hand it's black <laughs> He's got a very Black. limited vocal range that sounds good only on some certain songs. Anyway, in December last year, his band played a show. During the show, they covered Plug In Baby by Muse, and oh. he stepped up and sang for the first time live. Every other aspect of the performance was awesome, and the audience loved it. Except <laughs> the way my friend sang the song was kind of funny because of his limited range. He sang the verses all right, but for the chorus, he sang the notes like... My plug in <laughs> crucifies my enemies when I'm afraid of okay. I had recorded this performance with him singing and I posted the video on my major's Facebook group. Ooh, my caption for the yeah. video was with that mocking font like my plug in bait, like the SpongeBob thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody in the comments was put off by my caption and they said stuff like, Let's not be assholes. And this is a great performance. I decay what the problem is. Am I you're, the asshole? You're an asshole for posting it on social. Yes. I think if you, I, I think if you would have talked to, like, just said something to him, mm -hmm. been like, you know, and I wouldn't even have let him come to you. If he's <laughs> like, hey, what do you think about the performance? Then let, then it, then let, let, it, let it out and be like, you know, you, you, like the singing, I think could use a little work, but blah, blah, blah. But filming him. Posting it on social media and then the mocking font of like, fur, fur, fur. pretty rude. You're kind of the asshole for that yeah, one. You, you could have easily, yeah. you could have easily still been a prick without being a prick if you had posted it and been like, check out my buddy Scott, and like yeah. it was ironic to yeah, you, right. but you're still posting it and like being a supportive person. Like, yeah, that, that's like, yeah, it's rude, but you're not being a dick. But just like, yeah, yeah you posted a thing and made fun of your friend doing his art that he cares about, and you're like, mm, you, like yeah. of course you're the asshole. <laughs> Yeah. It's so rude. You're for sure the <laughs> There's asshole. There's 20 other ways you could have handled that. Oh, for that. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Am I rude for making fun of my friend? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> A sure. A little bit. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, two more. Okay. Am I the asshole for not participating in my fiance's weird Xmas underwear tradition? <laughs> I gotta hear 
hear this. What? What is what the a, tradition? What an opener, dude. This year, I celebrated Christmas with my fiance's family for the first time. Before we went to my fiance's parents' house, my fiance wanted me to uh, warn me that his parents usually come short in the amount of food they cook for Christmas dinner, and that there's often not enough for everybody. How is that a recurring problem? Thank you for finishing this. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. They usually come short. It's like, <laughs> where is this what going? Is that? <laughs> where is it? Uh, what I didn't expect, though, was to be expected to participate in the family's weird tradition. Apparently, it's a whole family thing. <laughs> they all get in their underwear. Oh apparently, my God, you gotta just sit around. Apparently, they have a long-standing tradition where instead of drawing straws, they'll throw all their underwear in a bin and then go act. Wait, and then go act to take turns wearing a blindfold and drawing a pair of underwear from the pile, and drawing the smallest pair of underwear correlates to drawing the smallest straw what the fuck like the underwear you're wearing like do you bring a pair you're supposed to just all put your like soiled undies in a bin and then oh, i drove the smallest underwear or, or let's even say you bring what? a fresh pair with you to the event still strange who the fuck i have never just use the straws I have, why are you making <laughs> why are you making this weird yeah. you have an analogy of like it's just like the straw game okay so let's use straws why are we <laughs> using underwear this is so strange uh i have never heard of this tradition rightfully so so i felt blindsided when right before christmas dinner my fiance's mom yelled out out, that it was time to pull the straws to decide the order of who got to plate up their food first. That's to, what it's for, to too? To plate the food? It's not even like an award. It's just like who goes first? What is this? Oh, these extra steps. This is so <laughs> weird. At first, I thought the family was joking when they announced this, so I laughed, which made my fiance get real defensive. I volunteered to get my food last so I wouldn't have to participate, but my fiance just got more annoyed and asked me to just try to be a bit more agreeable. The whole thing was just kind of weirding me out, so I called an Uber and went home. Now things are real t tense between me and my fiance since he now says I made a bad impression by acting like I was too good for their family traditions. You made a bad impression by being fucking normal? Yeah, I, no, that I is so break, weird. Break up with him and never speak. How to him is again. he your fiance and you have <laughs> never realized this? Also, he is a prick for not warning you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What, he just they, they dropped it on him and he went shut up, shut up, it's, just do it, just do the underwear thing. So okay, so you take off your current underwear, That's, yeah, and put it in a bin, and then, and then everyone blindly puts their hands in it. I got your wife's panties. I go last. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, dude. Huh? What kind of weird fucking Fuck it, yeah. kinky dude, I bet you're the, family shit the is The dad this? is probably some fucking weirdo predator, and like this is yeah. some curvy thing he came up with when they were kids yeah, so he could get a fucking fuck? whiff of undies. Because, you know, you, were, you are right. You sh I'm glad you fucking Ubered home and didn't just put up with that. Yeah, Uber home, never speak to this guy again. That is crazy behavior. Whoa. Well, you're not cool. You're making a bad impression. Yeah, and then to you're be like, what the fuck? Who is, dude, dude, who does this? I don't want to impress the fucking panty brigade. I don't <laughs> give a fuck about your what weird panty fuck? parents. This is and so strange. And it's the person was the person who gets the smallest pair of underwear gets to plate first gets to plate first which, so which isn't even how pulling straws works yeah <laughs> by the or way. plates even you don't benefit from pulling the smallest straw or if you pull the <laughs> smallest one you plate last i don't remember what it was but like so just the smallest person you get their underwear and you're like i win that's fucking weird yeah especially because you know Cause that's it probably is. gonna be like a fucking child right. or like yeah i'd feel incredible how could you ever recover if like Uncle Weirdo gets your wife's panties and is like, looks like I got Sarah's. And they're like, like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna go what home kind and of kill weird myself. Alabama fucking Ugh. deep south bullshit is that? No, your fiance is the asshole, and you should uh, either marry him and leave him and take his stuff, or just never marry him <laughs> because fuck this guy, dude. <laughs> that's crazy. Wow, uh, that is that's nuts. Odd. That's fun. And then she's like, "Am I the asshole?" It's like, <laughs> yeah, you're questioning no, you're yourself. You're fucking normal. That's wild, dude. Wow. <laughs> All right, last one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know if I can read this title. What? <laughs> I am, am I the asshole for throwing away my coworker's tooth? <laughs> what? 
Okay. What scenario could this possibly be? I work in a slightly unconventional office. No kidding. Cursing and dirty jokes, okay. It's in a small building, like all the desks touch. You work in a porn studio, don't you? <laughs> and we have staffing seven days a week. Some senior employees have their desk, including myself, but other employees, including temps, use them on different days. Essentially, all the desks are used by everyone. Two weeks ago, my coworker's tooth suddenly broke off and they went to the dentist. One problem, they left their tooth on the desk. The first day, it wasn't a big deal because they left so suddenly, but it stayed there for a few days. <laughs> the next week, uh, two more junior coworkers who had been using that person's desk mentioned to me that the tooth was still there. We were all very grossed out by it. They didn't want to touch her belongings. I have no problem with that, but I couldn't bring myself to touch the actual tooth, so it stayed. The next week, a temp told me... Two weeks? No, you're not the crazy. asshole. Yeah, the neck... Yeah, another... And four people have complained to you. <laughs> the t uh, another temp told me she heard the coworker joking about how she wanted people to ask her about the tooth so she could gross them out with it. That was the last straw for me. The coworker was off that day, so I covered the tooth with a post-it. I wrote on the post-it please put this away it's icky the next day my coworker read the note i was not there and started grilling others about who wrote it they told them it was me which i told them to do she taped the tooth to the note and put it on my desk she texted me a photo of the note and tooth and wrote don't worry i saved it for you the next day i was back she was off again i threw it away She's passive aggressively angry at me now. I'm guessing because I touched her stuff and made her feel judged? Am I the asshole? I know I shouldn't touch people's no. personal stuff at work. No. But does someone's old tooth cross the line? You're not the asshole. No, That's, that person's a crazy person. That person's fucking dude, weird, dude. Um, you know, okay, when I was in Aberdeen a long time ago, I got a little, a little too fucked up and I threw up in my friend's room. I was like sleeping on his floor. It was hardwood floor and I threw up on the floor and I was like embarrassing whatever i didn't even realize i did it and then the next day we had to leave like super early mm -hmm. and i was still kind of like out of it so we just left and then we're gone for a while probably about two maybe just shy of two weeks and we were like on our way back to to go over there again and my buddy texted me and said oh thank god you can finally clean up that mess you left and i was like what are you talking about and he said remember when you threw up in my room and i said that was 14 days ago. You left the puke in oh. your room for two weeks, dude. And you and it was his bed's here, and the pu I slept on the floor here and threw up right here where his he sleeps. Oh, dude, an inch away from it, and he left it for two weeks, dog. I couldn't believe it. And then we all shamed him so hard that he cleaned it before I came over. So it was like, you didn't, I didn't even have to do it. It was just like, I, I learned nothing fuck? and you made yourself stink for two weeks. Like, what? <laughs> dude. Yeah, no. You just had the audacity to be like, oh, finally. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, come on. You didn't even. What the I'm fuck? I'm not touching that. Yeah. If you, In your bedroom. <laughs> if you, yeah. If you leave a tooth on a desk for multiple weeks. <sighs> And then Why? someone throws it away. Like, fuck don't, you. Don't touch my tooth. Yeah, fuck you, you weirdo. Like, save, save your you goddamn tooth. I don't want to touch this shit. <laughs> I'm talking to HR. Molly threw away my molar. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> fucking no, gross. you're not the you asshole. Gross old woman. <laughs> That's so weird. Dude, to, dude. to take the fucking... tooth to a note and send it to that person, be like, you got a problem with my tooth, bitch? <laughs> like, yeah. You, you just, like, sometimes wonder about the human race. Yeah, I wonder about all the like, people that ratted on her and weren't just like, Cynthia, it was your tooth. Yeah. It was your rotted tooth. It right. stunk. Like, it's, yeah. Why terrible. are you mad at her? Right. You should have thrown it away. It's funny. Yeah. It's not funny that you had your hygiene is so poor that your tooth fell out of your mouth at work. That's, That's so crazy. That was just anyone else's fault. Also, did you know teeth are uh, technically an organ? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. I thought they were bone or like uh, cartilage, but they're uh, they're an classified as an organ. Is it because they have nerves in them or something like that? I don't know. Weird. Yeah. yeah, I guess I only think of organs as like squishy. But yeah, they, they, like if a tooth falls out, it like it My rots. Organs. It like rots. And right. It, yeah. And it, it dies stinks. and it stinks. It's like, bro, this is disgusting. Get this out of here. Well, you guys don't like my stinky rot mouth. No, you're not the asshole. The one who lost the Dude, tooth. Most is of these people weren't weird. the asshole. Yeah, most of you weren't. There was like the one who posted their yeah, shit that, singing yeah. friend that was and was like, rude. that was kind of rude. But like most of these are like, no, you're yeah. just hanging out with a fucking yeah. weirdo. <laughs> You know, life reset and you get For out of the town real. you're in. What the fuck? Oh my god, that was all. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> thank you for coming along this journey with us. First, r slash am I the Ooh, asshole. That was good. Um, if you like this video and want to see us do more, hit the like button, comment down below, and let us know. And subscribe to see more. We appreciate you. Links in the description for our Patreon and merch if you want to support us. And we'll see you in the next episode. Toodles. Toodles.